proteomics. Proteomics came from the word proteome, which means the complete protein pool of an organism encoded by the genome. In broader terms, proteomics is the study of the total protein contents of a cell or organism. Proteomics helps an understanding of alteration in protein expression during the different stages of life cycle. It also helps an understanding of the structure and functions of different proteins. It helps in the protein-protein interaction of an organism. It also helps to detect the minor defects in either the protein structure or the function or expression patterns of the protein. Kinds of proteomics are functional proteomics and the structural proteomics. Functional proteomics means on which the identification of interactions of affecting the functions and these interactions are protein protein interaction protein dna interaction and protein rna interaction all these interactions affecting the function of a protein these are identified under the functional proteomics second kind is the structure proteomics and which the identification of all interactions that are affecting protein structure and this protein structure is affected by the metal ions toxins or drugs all these are identified under the structural proteomics methods to study proteomics are techniques to study proteomics number one purification of proteins proteins are purified for the study number one technique under the purification of protein is the extraction of protein extraction of protein is takes place or the protein is extracted either from the whole cell or from the tissue or from the organelle of an organism after the extraction the purification is done with the use of centrifugation the third step is chromatographic technique and which the separation of mixture and its components takes place so these are the three steps through which protein is purified extraction purification and chromatographic technique second is the separation of proteins and which protein is separated through gel electrophoresis 2d there is two dimensional gel electrophoresis is used here and which one dimension is used for the isoelectric point and and the second dimension molecular weight is used second is detection of protein for the detection of protein methods are fluorescent dyes and radioactive probes so protein is separated through gel electrophoresis after that fluorescent dyes or radioactive probes are used to detect the proteins third one is identification of proteins first proteins are excited and digest excision and digestion is done by using protease enzymes for example trypsin after digestion mass spectrometry is used to identify the peptides
applications of proteomics proteomics has broad applications in all aspects of life sciences including several practical applications there is drug development against several diseases number second difference in expression protein expression profile of normal and disease person may be analyzed for target protein number third protein to gene may be predicted number fourth once the protein or gene is identified so its function may be detected through proteomics and number fifth it helps in the disease management metabolomics are also called as metabolomics metabolomics is a systematic study of unique chemical finger fingerprints that specific cellular process leave behind it's it is specifically the study of their small molecules metabolites metabolites that are the end products of gene expression and the collection of all metabolites and a biological organism is known as metabolome while the metabolomics this term is used particularly in the acts in the context of drug toxicity assessment or when nmr technique is used but most commonly the metabolomic is used instead of metabolomics methods to study meta metabolomics are techniques that are used to study the metabolomics number 1 nuclear magnetic resonance or nmr nmr is used it has some advantages while and some disadvantages the advantages of nmr technique are that it is coupled with the liquid chromatography and nmr we can study a wide range of metabolites it is also used to determine the structure of metabolites while the disadvantages of nmr are that nmr is time consuming for more of the metabolites and it is not suited for low abundance compounds second technique is fourier transform mass spectrometry advantages of this technique are that the crude extract can be injected directly it is a fast method and it is capable of ultra high resolution it can be assigned an empirical molecular formula while the disadvantages of this technique are that it is the high maintenance of this technique and the inability to distinguish the isomers of the same molecular mass third is gas chromatography mass spectrometry advantages are this is very high chromatographic resolving power it has a good selection of stationary phases while the disadvantages of gas chromatography are that it couldn't be used for non volatile compounds it is only used for the volatile compounds and it is not used for thermally unstable compounds and only used for non polar substances number 4 liquid chromatography advantages 
It is capable of analyzing a wide range of metabolites that are thermally labile, having high polarity and high molecular mass. Second advantage is that the good selection of stationary phase. Disadvantages of liquid chromatography are that the fragmentation rules not well established and MS libraries are missing. Importance and applications of metamolomics It is used to the study of toxicology, pharmacology, in bone metabolic and nutrition errors. Number second, it is used to characterize the different pathological states of human diseases like cancer, diabetes, autoimmune diseases and coronary diseases. Metabolomics can provide valuable tools in a wide range of applications including microbial biotechnology, food technology, pharmacology, toxicology, enzyme discovery, system biology, and plant biotechnology. Number fourth, metabolomics is extensively used in the various products of plant origin such as food, pharmaceuticals, industrial raw material, plant breeding and nutrition assessment.